bigger than all the other Harry Potter premieres you've been to? It is insane. I did not think these Harry Potter premieres could get any bigger, but somehow they have managed to. The amount of people here, it's crazy. Thousands of people have lined the streets of New York City, mostly young girls, for one reason only. Harry Potter! Harry Potter! Harry Potter! We kind of knew it was going to be really kind of a bit mad here today, because well, there hasn't been a premiere for about, what, almost two years now. Right, right. Um, so we knew that it was going to be a bit mad, but I didn't quite count on this. It, it's brilliant, though. It's fantastic. Hey, guys. Why the long faces? <laughs> Everything about this third installment of the Harry Potter franchise is bigger, including its three young stars, Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, and Rupert Grint. You're taller, you're growing up. Are you feeling good about that? Uh... No, of course, Rupert. He's a giant now. He's huge. You're getting very tall. How tall are you? Um, I don't know, not sure, but taller. <laughs> it's, it's good to grow. It feels good. I, I was getting a bit of a complex because I had I'd grown about an inch in a year last year. So I was getting a bit scared then, but I, I am now starting to grow again, which I'm thankful for. And now that the kids are getting older, it seems romances are beginning to blossom on the set, at least according to the film's director, Alfonso Curran. You hear the whispering, you hear, you see, you see the, pa the passing notes. And you hear who fancies whom. <laughs> right. But uh, uh, it was very obvious that, you know, that the polling was in the air. Is it true that people were passing notes? Yeah, people, people pass notes. I mean, we're teenagers, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah. Now, Daniel denied everything, just so you know. Oh, did he? Any romance on the set I should know about? I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm really, I'm very sorry. <laughs> Nothing? Nothing. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I, think, I think we know each other too well to be going out now. He said they're all friends and I, I have no interest in anybody. Well, you know, that, that is safe. Yeah, and that's the same for me. <laughs> What's going on? One thing is for sure, Potter fans have been waiting a long time to see the third book come to life on the big screen. And Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban is certain not to disappoint. There's something moving out there. Everyone's talking about this movie. They're saying it's a little darker, it's a little scarier, it's a little bit more sophisticated. How would you describe it? I wouldn't anymore because you've kind of said everything. <laughs> no, come on. But, um, no, um, you know, that's exactly what it is. It's a much, it's a much more adult film. But I don't think it's going to be too much for the younger kids because even though it's a very scary film, the scariest elements are psychological. Just one month after the third film hits theaters, Ratcliffe will celebrate his 15th birthday, and that has some critics wondering if Harry Potter hitting puberty could have an adverse effect on the fourth installment, which has already begun filming. Well, everybody's sort of saying there might be an age thing. I am a bit older than her now. I'm almost about 10 months older than her now, in theory. What I am slightly worried about is the fact that we fitted all my clothes to me, and we're actually shooting at the moment at the end of the film, so I'm probably going to shrink towards the end of the film, because we're shooting the end of the film first. It's probably going to look very strange. If you watch the first film, the last scene of the film was the first one we shot. Right. And so I'm even more squeaky voiced in that one. I know your voice is very deep and manly. I, I, it's actually an affectation. I don't normally <laughs> sound like this at all. It's, it's much higher in real life. <laughs> Everybody's talking about the fact that they're older now. They've grown up. Yeah. I mean, um, Rupert is like 5'8". Five eight. Yeah, soon he's tall. Soon they're going to be on the OC, not Harry Potter. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Harry Potter: The Prisoner of Azkaban in theaters tomorrow. So check that out. Thank you, Lisa Canning. Yeah, well done, good. darling.